My favorite white for mixing is this Blick Matte Acrylic White, and it comes in these eight ounce bottles. So I'm gonna just mix a couple colors and then fool around with some paint. This is Galleria Acrylic Paint. That's a student grade paint from Windsor Newton. So when mixing light colors, I start with the white and add a little bit of the color. And to get a really smooth, even mix, it takes a lot of mixing. So if you're just testing your colors, you can just apply them with the palette knife if you want. Good to have paper towels handy. And then let's just see what this color looks like on its own. It's called Permanent Rose. Good. So this is a sketchbook, and this is the kind of thing I do in a sketchbook, is fool around with new paints. I got this sample from Arteza, just one color of theirs, so I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot. So I'm not trying to make an image here. I'm just seeing what these paints are like. What if I scrape that? What if I add some white to that? That get kind of a different pink. So let's try another of these Liquitex Basics. This is cadmium orange hue. When it says hue, it means it doesn't actually have the original pigment in it, which in this case is cadmium. That's a good thing. That means it's not poison. So hue doesn't mean it's inferior to the original or traditional pigment. It just means they've substituted something different for any number of reasons. So this time I'm just going to continue to use my finger here. A little bit of white to that. Oh, what happens if I just pick up the white, put it in that orange, and mix it right on the sketchbook? Lines scratching through there. Can I make dots? <laughs> Big clumsy dots here. I'll try to get a really, really light pink, maybe a little bit of orange in there too. So I've just got you know a few colors here plus white working in a really limited palette, which isn't a rule, and it's not better than working in a wider palette. It just does um, allow you to kind of explore the whole range of what you can do with very few ingredients, which once in a while, that's really good to just have a few ingredients. See what you can do, whether it's a few colors or a few tools. It's a good exercise, but I wouldn't say it's some superior way to practice painting. Sometimes you need all your tools and all your colors. <laughs>